Best beware of the other side of the river. One full swing and you could be royally fat. You in trouble here, Greylocks. When this is all over, I aim to open a whore. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Mentioned you have a problem. Mm-hmm. Miss Vess. She took a couple of lads across the river. She plans to hit the Black Ones at Mulberdale. So, sounds about like what guerrilla fighters do. Yes, when they're ordered to, whereas I forbade her from leaving camp. Indefinitely. Why Mulberry Dale? Why'd Vesco there? The peasants from the village aided us earlier. The Nilfgaardians learned of this. Word got out they're planning a punitive expedition. Probably hang every fifth villager. Hmm. Honestly, Vess's desire to save the villagers makes sense. What doesn't is your opposition to the plan. War means death. Not only for the soldiers, for the common folk as well. You can't save them all, it's that simple. Funny. Had you for an idealist. You were right to. Are right to. But I have one ideal. A free Temeria. And I'm prepared to sacrifice anything for it. So you've got a problem. Insubordination. What am I supposed to do about it? I doubt Vess has entered the village. More likely she and the boys lie in wait in the woods nearby. We must find her before she attacks and stop her. You're a good tracker. Help me. Count me in. Thanks, Geralt. I'll owe you a favor. Meet me in Velen beneath the Hanged Man's Tree. It's just a short jaunt from there to Mulberrydale. Just what our band of merry men knows. We'll pay for the free to marry them. You've been here, you've been there. So tell me. the village below. Black with Nilf guardians already. They're preparing to execute folk. No sign of this. Ah, she may be impetuous, but she's not stupid. She's waiting for her moment. Probably attack after dusk once. Shh. What now? A trio, lightly equipped, sneaking closer. Over there, near the... Death to the Black Ones! Help me! Circa! Looks like we're too late. Geralt, we have to help. Follow me. Not your lucky day.
enough of that. God damn it, Bess! Have you gone completely mental? You ignore my orders, go off on a suicide mission, and instead of donning a breastplate, you dash into battle, shirt open, navel and what not exposed. You're not my father, Roach. You've no right to tell me what to wear. But I am your commander, and you will obey me. Guerrilla warfare. Warfare! It involves armies, for fuck's sake. I could not abandon them. They helped us. It's a soldier's job to kill, Bess, not save, not rescue. If that is not to your liking, join the Sisters of Militale. Study to be a healer. Fucking hell. Give me your weapon. You'll get it back when you wise up, if you wise up. Move out! Ren! <coughs> 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 a prisoner. We don't take prisoners. You took my weapon, Roach. So I must manage with my bare hands. Leave him alone. There are corpses enough here. What? You heard me. I did and I can't believe it. He came here to murder civilians. He's seen us. Will you have him return to his camp and report? Emir knows we can kill his men. Let him learn that we can also show mercy. Noble of you and all, but occasionally I work for Nilf Guardians. Frankly, I don't want any trouble. I don't like this. But so be it. You certainly don't deserve to suffer as a result. Well said, Geralt. A good black one's a dead black one. I'll strangle the bugger. Stand aside. I'll do it. Nen Trokai. Uh. We should go before a patrol comes along. Thank you, girls. Ever need any help, you know where to find me.
Greetings. My, my, a witcher. Some... Sure doesn't look like you're short on work. So, this. The Redanian army order. But there's no pleasure in it. One after the other, same thing time and again. No finesse required. Looking to perfect your craft? Of course. Crafting's like plowing a maid. Fall into a rut and... Well, sure, you'll get the job done, but there'll be no hoops, no hollers, no standard ovation. So, got any special requests for me? Help me stay on form. Still talking about armor, aren't we? Aye. What else would it be? Show me what you have in stock. What can I do with you for? Let me see. Might pick something. So long. This side of the bolter.
Greetings, Master. What can I do for you? Got a razor and shears? Good. Make me look decent. So long. The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. There a problem? A problem? There's some kind of problem here, gents. No. Oh, just wanted you to meet my new pals before they bugger the fuck off. Because we're just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea with mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right, and don't show your hides run here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shite without a shovel. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the ploughing opposite. You see, uh, Geralt, old pal... About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance, Francis Bedlam, the King of Beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. The rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. They quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. 
Unfortunately, the arse white won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one of a kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Oh, would you mind going to see him? Zed. Oh, sounds familiar. Big fish in the car pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Inside and in hot water. Gotta find another way in. What do you seek, pain giver? Find it? No. Oh, Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps the ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Isengrim card. Greetings. Oh, fuck. Come on, Ringo. Time to shine. Get him! Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? snooping around for. Hmm. Must be the names of people Zed sold cards to. this.
Sultan? Get out! About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Show it here. Ha! <laughs> the sea hills are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entry show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson in the Ravi. Uh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Who's Caesar Bilson? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Ravi, who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I give him a smack and things between us have been frosty, so you'll have to see him alone. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse, gaudiest eyesore on Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. The right cabbage last night. Head feels like it's full of sound now. <gasps> Non human are you? Not for your kind. Need something sharpened? Reforged? What do you have on offer? So long. Elvin blood, eh?
that. It's the flea written mutant. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Sure he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi was just about to play for his life and... Uh, oh, you got the card! What else do you want? If you just give me up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broke. So, it seems the Witcher will have to play for you. Sound good? <laughs> See? Rav is on board. What do you say? We add some spice to the game. Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natalis card. Fancy that? Agreed. <laughs> I'm here I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play, let's play!
Yes! Curb your enthusiasm, mate, and sit still or you'll hurt yourself. But, but he won't. So, now we'll play something else. Repay you. The tallest card will do just fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe you prefer some other? Got a whole array you might like. I'm in a hurry. The Natalis card, of course. Here. are here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Got the Natalis card. Excellent! Now we've just Caesar Bilzen to fleece, and we'll be home free. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. He certainly keeps the card there. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go! Shivi! She's our Belzen! I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Ponta. The Pike's King of the Ponta. Ah, well, you see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish, and I do not come empty-handed. Who's he? Well, him. Well, that's, that's Geralt. Does say uh, Geralt fish? Not really. Mainly hunt. Good, that. One lion angler at the table's enough. Come on in. So what for Zanders and eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's cause you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse is a clarinet. It just recently, I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme flavoured shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this time... Geralt? Care to chime in? How's Xander taste to you? Recently isn't a word. Who'd you bring along, Chivi? Some blowing grammar purist? Well then. Did you hear Vibo Batilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Ah, cocksuckers lying like always. Ponter Pike aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need life bait. Your night crawlers, though the pike aren't as eager, don't know why. Once dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would have eaten it myself. That's so sure. Hey, Geralt, what do you and your pals use up at Cairn Mori? Bombs. How's that? 
<laughs> Both and have many jests lately. Though, true enough, that one wasn't very funny. Geralt, go fetch us another bottle. Right, can see the bottom of this one. When are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing with you. Forget what happened. Knife looks like it's attached to the tabletop. Drawer is open. Hmm. Perfectly. Secret door behind a bookcase. Classic. Statuette of a man. Wasn't carved but produced using magic about it. Dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Rope with which Stefan Skellen was hanged. Ah, here's Fringilla. Vatier de Rideau's dagger. Joachim de Vet's skull. Pretty grim curiosity. Full armor of the 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. Portrait of Emperor Amir. Tempera on wood. Pretty flattering, I'd say. set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, just a minute. I if any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him! And you two, get lost! Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the Witcher. Well! Up to it, lads. Haven't you got all day? Too late to survive. Thanks. Oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. Right. Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Ah, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by, splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling.
So, got the full set of cards. What now? Now we collect a shite load of coin for them. Let's go. The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind. Oh, I'm more likely to. Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So the buyer, who is he? A friend of a friend. Don't know much about him, but he's of juke silk. No doubt about that. Hmm. You know me, Geralt. I'm not prejudiced against anyone. As long as they pay. Ooh. Oh, I can't wait to get the King of Beck. Ah, at last. I fear the body's gone cold. What is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less in that order. Now, the cards, please. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome. Try it and find out. <laughs> you wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat with him. Doing it. Geralt, bastards give away with my coin. Damn it, with our coin. Chase the horse, son. I'll tend to the others. What? Can't understand a word. It can't get away, Duke. Might as well stop.
me, the swiving drowners. You could use a witcher. Ha ah, ha, ah, highly amusing. If, if I give you the coin, will you leave me be? No, rather make sure this was our last meeting. So, you get him? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, that's grand. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I'd never have managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. Kinda curious how the cards might serve me. Excellent! I'll take the coin to the King of Beggars right away. Surprise the prick. Good luck, Sultan. Thanks, Geralt. And remember, the catfish is the king of the Pontar. Alone. And who might you be? Temple Guard undercover. Call me an admirer of law and order. Made a mistake coming to this town. Eh? You're making a mistake. Leave him alone. And if we don't. This man's not worth your efforts. His shop's drowning in debt. You're right. Even looks like a pauper. I beg to differ. Don't even know why I bothered the bugger. My apologies, and fare thee well. I, uh, got to go brush my teeth. Go home, merchant. And try not to come round here anymore. I will. I, I mean, I won't. I, I mean both, yes. Thank you, sir. To be a purveyor of cheap paws and watered down wine? Hey! What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Call me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. How much do you need? Maybe I can lend you the coin. Thank you, Geralt, but I refuse to take a single crown from you. You know what they say. Fastest way to lose a friend's to loan him some coin. But a favor? That's different. What kind of favor? I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. 
and Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? You know, I bought that wine for a reason. A long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena, one of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What will you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Let's say I agree and... Something... Sorry, Dandelion. Maybe later. You always say that. If you change your mind, I'll be here. Got a minute? For you, my friend. What did you want from Sophronia? Slipped my mind. Geralt, I want to transform this esteemed establishment into a first-class cabaret. And that takes funds. Enter Sophronia. I remember now. Gonna help you convince her you're trustworthy. Exactly. And to do that, we need a sword from Madame Arena Renard's prop collection. So, will you help? Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Oh, my new man, the biggest love. Never give me nothing but floppy diddly. Don't know how to give, you can't receive it. Saying I'm no good at giving. To give, you've got to have talent and character. <sighs> What's he schemed up this time? Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know. But Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. Go 
looks like rain. Finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, Andromask, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Not your lucky day, miss. Hand me your purse, now. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I! Though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. More like the Crimson Asshole. Silence, Vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. Oh, God! Uh, uh, you're better than I thought. Uh. This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? Plenty to behold. This here is a collection of wonders that belong to the Mage Eremas. A once in a lifetime opportunity. How do you get a hold of these? Never heard of a mage willingly parting with his treasures? No one asked Eremas his will. He was burned at the stake a fortnight ago. Strange they didn't burn his stuff with him. Witch hunters let you resell it just like that? Why wouldn't they? These are common goods, some valuable only as collectibles, perhaps. Alright, I get it. These items aren't actually common. Rumor has it, each is an enchanted key. Rumor happened to mention where to find the locks these keys open? Sadly, no. What if I knew you could hardly expect me to sell them? Where did Aramas live? Had a lovely residence south of Oxenford. Badly damaged now, as he made the hunters pay dearly for his skin. Show me what you have.
Farewell. Statuette of a man. Wasn't carved, but produced using magic. Ought to ask Triss about it. Ooh. Understanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today, so we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's rearing to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peach. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Why are you asking me? Well, the lovely lady seems to be having a hard time deciding. And Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. But that he'd let us know just as soon as we arrived. Now we're here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion's like. Gabriel, you've known him longer. Say something.
sure, I've known him longer, but he's never so much as changed his socks for me. Never mind commissioning a full-blown renovation. He's doing this for you, clearly. You should decide. I associate boudoirs with a feminine elegance that also has an edge. Claws, you might say. That fits a cabaret perfectly. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Well, well. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. I'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. We talking about the same Dandelion? Man who loses a fortune worth half of Novigrad in one night. Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time. And he's never missed a performance. Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. and her half-brained fiancé. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Ho ho hold on. What are you doing here? We were going to meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. How would you know she keeps a spare key around here? It's not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hubio... You'd visit her? Often? I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary and Time. They worked on the dance numbers I, I composed. So, Polly's not one of your... I never mix business and pleasure. The one exception being Priscilla who you were just saying is worried about us. So enough of the chatter, and start looking. Fine. Let's find the key. Find anything? Not here. Get out of my ass! Watch it, and leave the woman alone. What the... She's my betrothed! But I'm not your property! I love her! I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Whoa! Slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass! Shut up, or I'll split your skull! 
my friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right. Toke. Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt. But its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of you. Polly's not going anywhere. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Hmm. Suppose, in that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. have skipped all that talking if you'd left it to me. What, so you could smack him? Stop to think how Polly react to that? Think she'd be thrilled? What if he smacked you back and won? He wouldn't have won. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlex. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. I'll go see Rotlick. You head back to the Rosemary. Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No. Said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. Oh! For Rodlick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcass is pit clean. There's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding times first come, first served. You're not gonna rob him. Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! Not your lucky day. Where's he? 
Same place as always. Vagal Butter State. Losing his last crowns at the races. See? Wasn't that easy. Could have said so right away. Artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art. At your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. Tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them, as a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm the wager on a race. Generous. Not just anybody could afford to do that. Deluverton is not just anybody. He's Duke Sam's youngest son. Sam of the well-known family of gem dealers. One debt more or less makes little difference to him. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. You've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to the Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Listen, all I really want are the placards. Tell me where you tucked them away and I'll be out of your hair. Forgive me, I cannot. I hid them with family heirlooms that would work those barbarians lurking outside my home into a slavering froth. Then go fetch them yourself. I'll wait here. If I show my face there without coin, they'll beat me to a pub. I must win back my debt somehow, else I'll never return home. Let's do this. I'll enter the race. You'll bet on me, win, pay your debts, then give me the placards. You were that good a rider? Far from the worst. Go tell the Count you accept his offer.
thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary and Tyne, just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. Ooh. Wondering if I could take part in the races. If you've coin for the rider's fee and a steed of your own, why not? Decide quickly, please. There's a race about to begin. These races. Tell me about them. They run as per Erasmus Vega Bud's dying wish. He came into his fortune by gambling and remained proud of the fact to the end. Family doesn't mind having a racetrack right by their house? But the house, his fortune, would not even be theirs had they not fulfilled Lord Erasmus's wish. He made it a condition. Any special rules for the races? They're as simple as Lord Erasmus was. Two competitors, simultaneous start, first to complete a lap around the track, wins. I want a race. Grand, your name and the name of your steed. Geralt of Rivia, on Roach. Excellent, your opponent, let me see. Seamus Holt, astride Athos. On three, one, two, three, off you go! Not bad, yet we shouldn't kid ourselves. The competition was hardly stiff. Shall I sign you up for another? Excellent. Don't go anywhere. We'll start soon. Your opponent this time, Viscount Roma astride Caniculus. The Viscount races incognito, so I must ask for your discretion. Faster. On three, one, two, three. Off you go! Give me up.
hear ye! The final of the Erasmus Vagelbud Memorial Derby! Bravo! Congratulations, you won in style. Shall I sign you up for another? Want to try again? Gained an appetite, have we? Your opponent this time? Luke Vagelbud, young Lord Albert's cousin, atop Succubus. He's the black sheep of the family, but he's not lost a race yet, so he's seen as something of a local champion. Bagelbud Memorial Derby is over! Fantastic race! Congratulations! A grand victory! Quite profitable. Got it right. What do you want? To express my admiration on account of your victory. And here. Yeah, brought you an invitation from the boss. He'd like to congratulate you personally. Farewell.
enjoy things, do you? So, so, I suppose. Might have been days in the past when I'd have said, wonderful. But I can't complain. I'm in one piece. Not bound to a steak atop a pyre. Fling Biberveld goes from being a prosperous merchant to being a pauper. How? Prefer the long version or the short? Short, please. The war. I was under the impression merchants grow fat on wars. Some do, but I have a serious personality for I'm honest. I could not reap profits from the suffering of others. I paid taxes. I never cooked my books. And then, a ship full of my goods sank. I pulled through somehow, but then a second fell prey to skeleton raiders, rendering me insolvent. When inflation hit and interest rates rose, I, at long last, fell. Gotta admit, your Menga is a brilliant impersonation. Don't remind me. I'm rather disgusted. Oh, come on, he wasn't all that terrible. You understand nothing. A doctor assumes more than a man's external appearance. I've learned what a scoundrel had knocking about in his head. Once I became him, not an hour passed before I felt the urge to break her sorceress's fingers. After two, I caught myself lusting to impale someone, and immediately after that, it hit me. The paranoid fear of a Doppler conspiracy. Ever considered leaving? Forgetting Novigrad altogether? What for? To pass from the frying pan into the fire? The war's not yet crept here. Famine's not kicked at our door. Not that the future's not running. But you don't have to be human. Maybe you could try something else. I've assumed many forms over the years, and in spite of all, life as a human has proven most interesting. After all, you humans rule the world. care of yourself, do you? Oh, those bigots haven't been cunning to strip me of this mask. Well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. No. No, not all. But I'd imagine something more, you know, more theatrical. Don't you like it? But I thought a boudoir would be right in line with your tastes. Oh, you chose it. Well, I'm not saying it's bad, just different. Not exactly what I'd envisaged. You know, now that I think about it, you're absolutely right. A boudoir is the perfect setting for a cabaret. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Yes, everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Thanks, but I'm not really in the mood. Have it your way. I, on the other hand, will drink. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And... she say anything about me? say I remember. Why do you ask? No reason. Well, well. Never thought I'd live to see the day. Dandelion living in monogamy. I've always been monogamous. Well, near enough. I just changed muses often. Priscilla, another one for your collection? No, she's its crowning glory. One thing's eating me. 
How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't... Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds.